What a night it was in the boxing world when George Cambobosas defeated Tiamo Lopez in November 2021, shocking everyone. It was anticipated that after becoming the unified lightweight champion, he would defend the title against former multi-division champion Vasily Lomachenko, however. Because of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Lomachenko was unable to hold out, and Cambosas ultimately lost his titles to Devon Haney. Nevertheless, the eagerly anticipated showdown finally happened Friday night at Perth's RC Arena. Australia was the scene of an intense brawl in which both fighters gave it their all right from the start, with Lomachenko coming out swinging lightning-fast jabs and depth combinations. But was prepared for the task, going round after round with the previous champion and answering with his own potent strikes. Pace was unrelenting with neither of them ready to give up. Kosas resisted as they exchanged blows, and each landed a big blow. Lomachenko displayed his signature footwork, sliding in and out of range and peppering Kosas with crisp jabs and hooks. Not to be outclassed, charging forward and landing a flurry of punches of his own. As the fight went on, both fighters started to exhibit symptoms of exhaustion, but neither gave up on winning the title. Rounds both Lomachenko and Kambosos threw caution to the wind and let it all hang out as they traded blow after blow without surrendering an inch. The intensity reached a fever pitch. Vasil Lomachenko, who is 36 years old, displayed the heart of a fighter on a night of furious action. Lomachenko gave it everything he had in the ring, displaying his amazing skill and well, but we had no idea that depressing news would soon befall boxing enthusiasts following the bout announcement that came out of Lomachenko's camp and rocked the world of boxing. For those who have followed Vasil Lomachenko's career, the news that he is retiring from professional boxing and that his match against Cambosos was to be his final one came as a severe blow. Did you think you deserved it because of his incredible footwork, lightning-fast combinations, and skill in the ring? He was regarded as one of the best boxers of his generation. To be crowned the undisputed champion tonight? I don't want to discuss this more because everyone has seen what transpired today. We have discussed how big of a career Lomachenko had. Accomplished outstanding success, winning world titles in a number of weight classes and establishing himself as one of the sport's most technically skilled fighters. The three-division champion made a lasting impression on the boxing world and enjoyed incredible success during his storied career. Yet despite all of his achievements, there was one unfulfilled dream that became the in his most recent bout with Denis Lomachenko, uh, the undisputed champion lost by a controversial unanimous decision, while many in the boxing community believed he had done enough to get the victory. The judges had a different opinion, and Haney was given the go-ahead. As a result of this loss, LMA was unable to achieve their objective of becoming the undisputed lightweight champion. Whatever had eluded him at his peak, Lomachenko gave spectators innumerable thrilling moments, demonstrating his extraordinary talent and technique in both his amateur and professional careers. Although his accomplishments in the ring brought him international attention and solidified his place among sports fans' favorite athletes, it is now evident that Lenko has reached a certain stage in his career. When it's time to hang up the mitts since he's done so much already and has nothing more to demonstrate that he is, as they say, unbeaten and appears to have finally caught up to the famous boxer, let's speak about this. Forget about my podcast career history. For those who don't know, Google Vasily Lomachenko immediately. He may be the greatest boxer ever. That has ever existed, so I was concerned that we would argue over it. However, I believe we are in agreement that he is so exceptional in his footwork, and though there have been some incredible fighters going all the way back to Sugar Ray Robinson and Willie Pep, who all paved the way, I just can't think of anything comparable. Everything changes not only do combat sports change, but art and music also do. At this point, you may see the greatest of the best and think, wow, they've learned from Ali and Sugar Leonard, Roy Jones, Bernard Hopkins, and Lomachenko are the best, in my opinion. He moves so aggressively and with such crazy grace, unlike Floyd Mayweather, who is undoubtedly the greatest ever. You know, multiple time world champion in several divisions 49 and 0, having only ever been hit hard maybe seven or eight times overall, once when Shane gave him a little shock. Vasil Lomachenko's retirement shocked the boxing community and elicited a variety of responses from other pros. However, many also expressed appreciation for Lomachenko's despite his illustrious career and unmatched talent. Some people had harsh opinions on Terence Crawford, the WBO welterweight champion, and he posted them on social media. Media to show his appreciation for Lomachenko, saying that the man was a real master of his trade with unrivaled footwork, angles, and ring intelligence that will leave a lasting legacy. Future generations of fighters including unified heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, who weighed in to compliment Lomachenko's technical prowess and call him a wizard in the ring, Russell Apart. This is a highlight reel of him standing in front of people. You can see how brilliantly he moves. 
it was like seeing poetry in motion. Ideal illustration of the new wave style, such as the movement in that stage where the man is genuinely hopping inside before launching a body shot. A boxing legend and former multi-division champion, he brought a level of talent and finesse to the sport that few could match. Lomachenko's retirement was discussed. LMA was a real fighter, giving it his all in the ring and never backing down from a battle. His devotion to the sport was so admirable that spectators would often find themselves thinking about him. Although Lomachenko is something of a privileged opponent to Pacquiao, both fighters are southpaws who swarm their opponents with wild footwork angles and combinations. However, Lomachenko is significantly more technical, and though Pacquiao is a wild and courageous warrior, he takes a logical approach both strategies complement each other and benefit him, his fellow fighters, trainers, and commentators in different ways. Acclaimed trainer Freddie Roach praised Lomachenko's achievements in the sport, saying that LMA was a once-in-a-generation talent because of his ability to manage the tempo of a fight and determine the action was unmatched, and the boxing world will miss him greatly. Rogan's response was a mix of admiration for Lomachenko's accomplishments and interest in the causes of his man Vasil Lomachenko's quitting is a huge event in the boxing world. His footwork, angles, and breaking power are all technical wizardry. This is how Rogan responded to the decision. It's always bittersweet when a boxer like Lomachenko decides to put up his gloves. On the one hand, you have to accept his decision because he has contributed so much to the sport. However, one can't help but wonder what may have happened if more people hadn't been so willing to congratulate Lenko. Former world champion Andre Ward provided a more critical viewpoint, raising doubts. Ward expressed his disappointment with Lomachenko's choice to retire at this point in his career, saying that, although his achievements are evident, he felt that he still had more to offer. Though it's a personal choice, I think he had the skill and capacity to compete at a high level in boxing. ESPN boxing expert Max Kellerman expressed worries about Kellerman said that Lomachenko's choice to retire is reasonable, despite the fact that his failure to win the undisputed lightweight title would leave a permanent stain on his career. Even though these critiques may hurt, it's regrettable that he wasn't able to fulfill his dream of becoming the undisputed champion because that will always be a stain on an otherwise stellar career. Lomachenko should be the undisputed champion because his accomplishments in boxing are evident and his influence will last for years to come. It is evident that his legacy is solid. One, oh, he won the fight. What about his performance tonight made you think that he deserved to win? He cleaned up his punches, he cleaned up his shots on developer, and he Devin Haney still has a lot of fight left in him, so if he chooses to stay at 135, you might be able to get a shot at the undisputed right now. He pushed the pace, as you saw tonight. He still has fights left in him, and one of the main reasons is that he isn't done establishing himself in the ring. Sure, he has overcome some difficult obstacles, but that's what truly distinguishes a great fighter. Capacity to recover and prove their mettle. In Lomachenko's bout with Devin Haney, for instance, many feel he should have won, or, at the very least, drawn, business there, and a rematch might definitively settle the score. Additionally, Lomachenko is not one to back down from a fight, so retirement may be postponed until the rematch with Haney. Considering his remarkable comeback, Lomachenko was eager for a rematch with Devin Haney. Although he was defeated in their first encounter, he thought he should have won because the judges gave him scores of double one six one hundred twelve, double one five one hundred thirteen, and double one five one hundred thirteen in in favor of Haney. But many others, including Lomachenko himself, thought he did enough to prevail, particularly in the later rounds. Lomachenko was adamant that he was the superior fighter, and some others shared this opinion. With him or believed the bout ought to have been ruled a draw, while a few well-known heavyweight fighters disagreed believing Lomachenko had outboxed Haney at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Aegis Kuz, the manager of Lomachenko, didn't hold back following the fight, calling it the biggest robbery in the daylight and feeling that Haney's squad had received an early Christmas present. Climbers even mentioned they were considering appealing the verdict. The fight was close, like a chess match, with neither boxer obviously dominating any particular round. It might have even ended in a draw. Although Haney's decision wasn't too bad, it was difficult for Lomachenko's legacy. Many believe that Lomachenko shouldn't have lost that match, and some believe the same about Haney perhaps if draws had been made. Out more frequently, it could encourage boxers to engage in more rematches. Omenia vs. Haney was a fantastic bout overall, save for the result a rematch would have been well deserved. Another rematch that Lomachenko could think about is against Teofimo Lopez. Their first bout was a much-awaited showdown that ended with a tight loss for Lomachenko. In a close fight, a lot of spectators and commentators believed that Lomachenko wasn't quite at his best in that encounter and that he might be able to reverse the outcome with a rematch in the second half. Lomachenko displayed a fresh tactic in the fight, 
moving forward and keeping Teofimo Lopez on the defensive. Teofimo appeared to falter under the pressure, not even slowing down after Lomachenko. Increased the intensity in the eighth round, it was evident that Teofimo found it difficult to withstand the constant pressure of wearing out rapidly in the face of such an aggressive approach, as seen in rounds 8 through 12 according to many observers. Lomachenko should have drawn because he had won six of the rounds, but the judges had a different opinion, awarding Lomachenko scores of 116, 112, and 119. Bob Orem, the promoter of Tim Lomachenko, expressed reservations about the scoring system when Judge Julie Lerman gave Tim Lomachenko 11 rounds to one. Despite not saying that Lomachenko had won, Aram did not dispute the results. Teofimo's score was inconsistent with the fight itself, casting doubt on the impartiality of the judges in supporting the case for a rematch. Lopez is unquestionably a strong opponent, but Lomachenko has the abilities and background to match him, and a rematch would provide Lomachenko with the opportunity to retake the top spot in the boxing world. Lomachenko should absolutely think about returning to the ring for a rematch against Teofimo Lopez in order to quiet any septics. His talent, tenacity, and desire for victory could be the ideal chance for him to demonstrate to the world that he is still a formidable opponent in the boxing world. Fans of the sport are aware that LMA is a legend and a fighting genius. Lomachenko was first exposed to boxing at a very young age by his father, Anatoly. His path in the sport is a monument to his love for the game, his unwavering dedication, and his extraordinary talent. Lomachenko, a former boxer, saw Vasil's talent and started training him with his older brother Anton right away. It was immediately apparent that Lomachenko had a natural ability for the sweet science he had amazing reflexes and footwork, as well as a profound comprehension of boxing strategy, which belied his years of training under his father. As Lomachenko advanced through the ranks, he refined his abilities with unflinching discipline and committed himself to the sport with an intensity that distinguished him from his contemporaries. As his skill became more evident in the amateur ranks, he achieved an incredible amateur record of 396 victories and just one loss, which cemented his place among the greatest. Throughout the process, he won multiple awards, including two gold medals at the Olympics. Lomachenko's first Olympic triumph occurred at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, where he won the four years later. At the 2012 London Olympics, he advanced to the lightweight division and once again won, solidifying his reputation as a gold medalist in the featherweight division. Two-time Olympic champion Lomachenko turned his attention to the professional circuit in 2013 after experiencing unheard of success at the amateur level. He made his professional debut against Jose Ramirez, displaying his extraordinary abilities and technical mastery en route to a convincing victory. From then on, Lomachenko started a quick ascent up the professional boxing ranks, demolishing Lomachenko's desire to take on strong opponents with surgical precision and enthrall audiences with his stunning performances has been a defining characteristic of his career. This fearless mentality has allowed him to take on challenges, compete against the best in the business, and never back down from taking on tough opponents or entering the ring against elite fighters. Lomachenko has shown a great deal of respect for the boxing sport throughout his career, which has gained him the respect of his colleagues and cemented his status as a true champion. Profound respect for its rich history. He approaches every battle with humility and reverence, understanding the sacrifices and commitment needed to be successful in the ring. In addition to his incredible accomplishments inside the ring, Lomachenko's impact on the sport has won him admirers from all around the world and cemented his status as one of the all-time greats. Sport transcends his combat achievements, as he has inspired other aspiring boxers by highlighting the value of tenacity, hard work, and steadfast his unwavering drive for greatness and influence have helped to take boxing to new heights, drawing spectators from all walks of life, and motivating a new generation. If Vassil Lomachenko keeps to his decision, it would surely leave a major hole in the boxing industry throughout his brilliant career of sportsmen to follow in his footsteps. Lomachenko has enthralled viewers with his tremendous talent, captivating displays, and unshakable commitment. Fans, other fighters, and overall Lomachenko's technical brilliance, a unique blend of speed, agility, and ring IQ is one of the fighting style's qualities that would be dearly missed. That distinguishes him from his competitors. Observing him deftly slide blows, counter with accuracy, and control the fight's tempo is a masterclass in boxing. Lomachenko's talent, his unmatched skill, and years of devotion to his profession allow him to dissect opponents with surgical precision and adapt to any fighting style. What do you think? If you agree with his choice, please let us know in the comments. Also, boxing enthusiasts everywhere, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and would like to see more like it. To ensure that you never miss an update on the newest happenings in the boxing world, please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. We value your support and thank you for it all. Thank you for viewing and until next time, keep up the good fight.